Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you guys my October favorites, which it's been a while, I haven't done a favorites video, so I'm super excited about this. With everything that's been happening with the elections and everything, today I just wanted to sit down, forget about the whole world, and just talk about beauty, you know, and, all, and everything like that. So yeah, that's what I wanna do today. <laughs> so anyways, month of October has been so amazing. I have a new haircut. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I uh, yeah, Today, of course, that I wanna show you guys and talk to you guys about it, I didn't do my hair. I just let it do its own thing. And I like it. I really love it. Back then, I could never do this. I could not just leave it like the way it is. But now I, I feel like it has more movement and just more texture. And I freaking love it. And I just want to thank Tony because he's the one that cut my hair. And I just think he did an amazing job. And I'm so obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, so I got a new haircut. And then also, I got to meet so many of you because I did do a meet and greet over there in Texas while I was visiting. And oh my god. God, you guys melt my heart. Like, you guys are all amazing. And especially um, everyone that just, like, comes from far. Like, you guys are amazing. Seriously, you guys are really amazing. So I just want to take the moment to, like, thank you guys or anyone just in general that goes to my meet and greets. It means absolutely like the world to me that you guys come and like try to get to know me more in person and as well because it allows me to get to know you guys and that for me is an amazing feeling so thank you to everyone that goes to my meet and greets um but yeah so i don't have like a lot of things that have changed because i've been traveling so much so not a lot of things change because i just pretty much throw everything in the same bag but there are a few things that i have changed so um i'm just gonna show you guys what I've been loving and yeah, I really hope you guys like the video. If you do, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And as well, don't forget to as well follow me on my social medias. That way you guys can keep up with me on my everyday basis or whatever. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so first I'm going to start out with a brush. And this is really interesting because you guys know for my eyeliner brush, I freaking love and I always recommend you guys the EO6 from Sigma but they just recently launched this new kit and in the kit comes this brush that is called the Bent Liner and it's the B12. It's literally like an eyeliner brush but what I love it for is to get in the inner corner and create like that cat eye. It makes it so easy and I just feel like in a bent eyeliner brush it just makes it so much easier when you want to create that wing liner as well. Um, I know I recommend the EO6 because it's small, tiny and you can get really precise with it and especially for small lids like it's like the perfect brush like literally it's like amazing but I just feel like as well this one might help you guys if you guys are having a hard time trying to do an eye eyeliner um, or anything like that like a cool effect in the inner corner or something I just think this is amazing and I've just been using it so much lately so this I highly recommend to you guys I do have a coupon code for Sigma which is birdie it could save you guys some money um, but I'm gonna have everything linked down below as well every favorite product of mine because they did do a page where you guys can see all of my favorite products from them so and that's gonna be linked down below um, but yeah this one is amazing like I said so I highly recommend it to you guys so next going into brows i've been using two new products you guys know i love and always use the anastasia dip brow pomade but in the month of october that has changed a little bit so i changed it to this brow pencil from benefit this is the precise precisely my brow pencil i'm using this shade six and this is actually what i have on my brows today and i just love it i just feel like it's exactly the same thing as almost like a brow wiz type of thing and i love the color i feel like it just goes perfectly with my whole hair is not too dark because you can make it really dark if you go really hard with it but if you just keep it soft it's like the perfect shade for me so i really love it but as well for a pomade i've been using this one from reina rebelde now this is a cosmetic um company that just started and honestly i just love them i love everything about their line this one is their brow uh what is it their brow paint i think that's what it's called but this is in the color frida and i just love it i think it's the darkest one and i've been using this a lot lately as well i do have a coupon code with them i don't know when it expires still but if if it's still valid it's birdie and it could save you a, a discount as well on their website but you guys are gonna love like everything about their site if you guys go check it out you guys are gonna think it's like pretty badass looking so I really love their cosmetics. Their eyeshadows are to die for as well. So I really recommend this cosmetic company. But this so far is my favorite product from their line because 
it's just amazing it just reminds me like i think it's a little bit better in my opinion that, um from the dipper i made with this one you don't have to be necessarily super careful about it because it won't look like like that dramatic as like the dipper i put made from anastasia so that's the reason why i recommend you guys try that one so then for the next product <laughs> And this is actually a funny story because I actually didn't like this concealer at all. But now with time, now that I started using it in the for the past like two months, I would say, I've just been absolutely loving it. And you guys have seen it like here and there in tutorials. And I've said it like in my tutorials that at first I didn't like it, but now I'm starting to fall in love with it. But now I just really love it that I'm going to repurchase another one because I'm about to actually run out. I'm like on my last few uses. So this one, I really love it. And I don't even know if they changed something about the formula. I've asked you guys before. I really don't know if they did or not. But if they did, keep going, Norse, because I love it. But if you guys are interested in knowing what the shade I use, it is Custom, which is medium one. Seriously, bomb ass concealer. Now, another thing that I'm also about to just like run out. Well, I actually think it's probably the last use I'm going to have on this but it's this foundation it's the ultra hd um from makeup forever this is all that it goes i already finished it but <laughs> i already bought a backup because i've been so in love with it this is actually the foundation that i have on today but i really love it right now because as you all know i do have combination skin but right now in the winter time fall whatever it starts to get really dry so for me it's kind of like a annoying thing to do every year like change your foundation your routine of skincare and all that but i just really been loving this foundation because it doesn't dry my face out it doesn't make me super oily it's just perfect and i just love everything about it it gives you that full coverage um without feeling it like you're caked up or anything and as well um it blends like a dream i just love the stick foundation of this i really don't use a lot of stick foundations just because i feel like sometimes they don't blend enough like the anastasia one I have a hard time working with that one, but this one, oh, it's, it's amazing. You guys are going to love it. So this is the one I've been using. And this one, I am in the shade 128, 128 which is Y415. So then here I have um, the Tartius Pro Glow Palette from Tarte. Oh my God, you guys. Like I'm just so in love with this palette. I am taking it with me everywhere, even to travel. I don't care how big it is, but oh i really love it so the shades that i've been using a lot is this one to contour this was called sculpt and that's what i have on my cheekbones today and then i'm also using lit and stunner stunner and lit i mix them both together and this is what i get and i really love it um but yeah i just love the way it's so easy to just blend this highlighter and then as well blend out the contour shade it's just so beautiful like i really love it the only ones i haven't used are this one and this one even though this one looks really dirty but it's because of fallout but um these are the only two shades i haven't used and the contour cream i really don't cream contour a lot so i don't think i'm gonna use that but other than that you guys have to try this because it's so pretty so yeah this one definitely recommend i just love how it's like the actual highlighter is not chunky, if you know what I mean. I hate those highlighters, but this one, whew, it's so good. All right, so that was all the makeup stuff. Now I'm just going to go into hair products because those are the last things that I have to mention to you guys because ever since I got my new haircut, honey, I've been really obsessed with these hair products and I really don't use a lot of hair products. Like my hair routine is very simple. If you guys don't know, I'll have a link down below. But um, I've been adding a few things here and there and... Uh, they just make a huge difference. So first, I'm going to start out with a texture spray and as well a texture powder. These are from Kenra, the Platinum Dry Texture Spray and the Dry, uh, not dry, the Texture Powder. And these just do magic to my hair. It gives it like this volume, like these, I don't know, it just makes something amazing to my hair. And I just really love it. If you guys are looking for a really amazing texture spray, Try this. I even bought it in the travel size because I want to take it with me everywhere. So, yeah, I'm that obsessed. It's literally really good. It doesn't have, like, this super amazing smell, but it's not bad either. Like, take it back. I really love the smell. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't know. It just... 
I just feel like it's the best texture spray I've ever tried because I've tried other ones and I'm like, what's the point? You know, like I'm just like sitting there like thinking like it's going to do something, but it doesn't really do anything to my hair. But this one, it actually adds some texture and that makes the curls even nicer looking and you guys just need to try it. The other product is this one. And this one I actually have already mentioned it on my Snapchat and everyone went crazy about it and started screenshotting it. But this is the Beyond the Zone Rock On um, Volumizing Powder. And this one is tinted in a dark brown um, powder because of course I have dark hair, but they also have a white one if you have blonde hair. Ooh, okay. But yeah, I actually showed this on my Snapchat and it just made my hair like super, super voluminous. Like I'm not even kidding you guys. And I have tried lots of volumizing products because I'm always like trying to find something to lift my hair because since I have so much hair, it weighs it all the time down. So to find this product and to actually make it super big and like me all the type, you know, I was just impressed and I was just like, I got to tell you guys about it. So I went right away. I went on Snapchat and I was like, you guys like, what the hell? Like I have this hair right now. So, um, this is actual product. If you guys have already seen my Snapchat and, and know what I'm talking about, this is the product. It's called beyond the zone and this, they sell it at Sally's beauty. I don't know if they sell it somewhere else, but if they do, I'm going to have a link down below for you guys, but this is a must in your hair care products <laughs> and one more loves with that that is all for this october favorites i really hope you guys liked it and if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and as well don't forget to subscribe that way you're updated with my future videos but other than that my loves thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye Mwah. The way the dogs are snoring. Pero es esta. Uh.